Frank Kaminsky can create his own shot. You see he create a shot off his, off the dribble. And you also can see him put the ball on the floor. And you also can see him post up and finish over both shoulders. He also is a daily spot up shooter off the three point shot. He made four in a row in one of the games in the same area. He just a uh, know how scorer. He knows how to put the ball in the basket naturally. And he does it in so many different ways. People say it's going to be a question mark. Can he score? Can he translate to the NBA? Once you got a knack for scoring and he has the work ethic and the hard work that he put into his game, he only going to get better and more comfortable in the NBA the more he watch footage and the more he watch games. The man is a flat-out scorer. And you see he can even put the ball on the basket, draw fouls, and he is a good finisher. It's going to be harder for him to finish against length in the NBA because they're more athletic and more quicker. But all you got to do is get to the free throw line in the NBA. As long as you can make the big man move his feet and get off balance, you can get to the free throw line. And I think he can do that because they have respect to his jump shot. His jump shot is just so deadly that you got to respect it. That's going to open up so much for his game because he can start attacking you. He can start creating his own space. He can start posting you up because you got to respect that jump shot. So, yes, I do believe that Frank Kaminsky will pan out in the NBA, and he is a perfect fit for the Charlotte Hornets because they need the floor spacing. They added Nicholas Batum. They added in Al Jefferson came back, and he needs as much space as he can, and he's a good passer in the post, and he's a knockdown mid-range, a knockdown three-point shooter. And if you close out too hard on Frank Kaminsky, he can get to the free throw line or he can just pass the ball out. So yes, I do believe the number one knock on him is possible, but I do think once you know how to score the basketball, once you got a feel for the game, and once you had a work ethic to keep working on your game and making the adjustments, you can make it in the NBA. So the number one knock on Frank Kaminsky, I disagree with. I do believe that he's gonna be a decent scorer. I think he, the thing I question about Frank Kaminsky, can he rebound on the next level? I don't think he's going to be a high rebounder like he was in summer league because the centers in the NBA are more active and more athletic and they use more verticality and vertical, I should say. I don't know if he can rebound 8, 9, 10 rebounds like he did in college and like he did in summer league, but I do believe that he'll be a good solid rotation player in the NBA that's only going to get better and have work at it like he did in college and he's going to eventually pan out and be a solid rotation player in the NBA. He could, I can see him averaging around 15.67 rebounds. 15 and 7 should be his about his average by the time he's at his peak. Because the best thing for him to do is just be a role player and just feed off of other great players. And that way he can get the confidence and the ability to take over games eventually. And I think the Hornets going to do that with them with the talent they already have.